Good morning, travelers. Chunky Tuna, welcome. You are most welcome for the follow. So, how are you doing today? Uh, travelers, today we are continuing our adventures through Lies of P. I say we're about maybe hmm, like a third of the way, maybe like a slightly over a third of the way, two fifths of the way through the story. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. But I hope you are all having a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at. And let's get started. So I'm definitely going for a technique build in this game. It's just my vibe. It's what I do. I like the decks. I like being able to move fast in Souls type games. <laughs> so after we defeated this butt of an enemy last time, we can actually go on to the next area. I'm excited. About it. He was a little bit of a doozy, not gonna lie. But we're good. It's all good. So we continue our journey forth to become maybe a real boy? I don't know. I don't know what actually happens in this game. It seemed like the national, uh, or the, not the national, the natural progression of things, uh, that we would strive to become a real boy. But I wonder if this game, like other ones, is going to have multiple endings, which could very well be the case. My shades get unequipped. How sad. How sad. <laughs> okay, or like all of my bonus content stuff. That's odd. Weird. We'll rock through it. Last I recall, we generally don't like bridges in Souls games. That's okay. Because we're P. We don't put up with shit. Hmm, is that a trap to go get that item? Maybe. Probably. Are we gonna do it? Hell yeah. I guess a puppet in water is never a good idea, so we will avoid the water. I don't think I could go in the water. Well, that answers my question. You can totally fall in the water. I thought it would have been a boundary that protected you, but I guess not. Go figure. But while I am here, can we manage my game in add-ons? Because I do have the deluxe version. I would like that. Weird. Well, now that we know we can actually fall, we're gonna we're gonna not do that. Just to always assume that you can die. Hey, Gracker. Thank you for the hearts. I hope the rest of your stream was amazing yesterday. And I hope you have a great day.
I just found out that puppets and water do not mix that well. So we aren't going to do that again. Ergo. Oh, good aim, sir. I would say this is a Souls game that very much forces you to parry more so than other ones. Or I shouldn't say it forces you, it encourages you to parry. More so than other ones. I don't fall in the water, even if it's just for a test. Go. There we go. Nice job, P. if that was supposed to be hard or not so i don't know we'll keep going I'm just gonna lower my audio just a little bit i feel like i'm blowing out everyone's ear holes hopefully not though we'll see if that's any better for anyone who's listening or not listening or future listening thank you all for being here. okay let's meet up with the brotherhood Yeah, I don't trust these guys. Trust these guys. I know we're trying to infiltrate and pretend, but I feel like there's just gonna be bad news if we do that. It's gonna be bad news. up we can go down we can go all around wow the options are endless as long as no bullshit hits me while i cross this that's nice for once no no bullshit <laughs> God, I hate platforming in Souls games. Absolutely despise it. One of my least favorite things. Because I feel like they're not really meant for platforming, and we're like, we're going to platform anyways. You're like, why? Look 
hopefully this one's not too bad. I just remember there was this one point in Elden Ring. I think it's to get to like the secret area with the like two finger. I had to do all this platforming and I was like, oh, oof. Not fun. Are we almost there? I think. Oh, okay. So I think that's not a roll. I don't think that's a barrel roll. I think that's just a straight walk on. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Magna. First time chat. Thank you. Oh my gosh. And with that, you are my 300th follower. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I will hydrate just for you. All the hydration. Welcome to the hydration station and the chat. My name is New Lead Traveler. I'm sure you may. Actually, I'm sure you haven't heard of me, so I'll introduce myself. I like leading travelers on new adventures, so I focus on RPGs primarily. But Magna, how are you doing? Thank you for being my 300th follower. Absolutely 300 times the charm. I'm sure I'll have to do stuff a bunch more before then, too. Let's go ahead and give you a shout out. Thank you so much for being here, especially because it's early. Your procrastinating work. Absolutely. I am uh, <laughs> I'm streaming before work, so it is all good. Very nice. How is Fortnite treating you? Is that where you were playing last? Well, no, it says you were doing League of Legends, but showed Fortnite, which I absolutely love Sidekick. How's League of Legends treating you? That's a game that I respect people who can play it so much. And unfortunately, I just, I've come to the conclusion. I can't. So anyone who can play League of Legends and put up with, I would say the not so friendly community at times. Maybe it's more friendly if you get better. <laughs> so you are a champ. League is great, I suck. Well, who do you play as? I always like doing the uh, the DPS characters, the ones that can like shoot stuff, but never got beyond that. Ah, got it, got it. At least if I die in this game, it's my own damn fault, and I don't have to blame anyone, and no one's yelling at me. Well, maybe, maybe some chat will, but I don't think they will. Let's go see what this Brotherhood's all about. Fiddlestick, Zack, and Nuna. Nice. Oh my gosh. I can't even remember her name, and she's like the first character introduced to. So, ready for my butcher of names. We got Pirate Lady and Bow Lady. Shocking, I know. So shocking that that would happen. Oh, I saw you go into the factory. But you're here. So, wait. You came out of the factory? That's a new one. I thought you would have been burnt to a crisp. But look at you, all intact. Brother, being too frank is rude. We should praise him for being stronger than he looks. This is just creepy. Why not join forces? Play our cards right, and we could defeat the villains who rule this area. They're the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. The baddies who torment the residents around here. We heard their hideout is stuffed with treasure. And it's a good time to liberate this place as well. Pretty sweet deal. Don't you think? Oh, Nunu's getting uh, you some video game. Nice. I'll be fun. That's it. The rest we can handle. So, you gonna do it? Eh, yeah, sure. Smart why not? choice. Look at our smart friend, Gato. <laughs> We're no slouches in the fisticuffs department. In a pinch, you lead. We'll bring up the no rear. No worries. I will friends. see you when you get back. All right. I don't know if it was a good idea to trust them, but we are gonna find out. Not bad, eh? You are all good, Magna. Don't even worry about it. Oh, hey. I'm not a dumbass. Maybe I am. Rude. Look at 
At least I'll actually help. That's nice. Oh, I feel like that's more distracting than it's not. Interesting. Good hit. A little bit of a punch right there. Get a little bit. Cluster grenade. Just grenades in a Souls game. Will this now unlock this side? Nope. Oh, that's a different door. Okay. I don't trust that. That looks like that's gonna break. Only if I walk me, because I'm the main character. Well, told you guys. Have fun. I wonder if they can actually die. Eh, fine, I'll go rescue them. So these boats just lead to the outside again? Interesting. Like they are just destroying everything. New cartridge. Where do we drop down from? Drop down from back here. How do we get back up? Told you guys not to step on it, but you did. But you did. Chumps. Alright, this has to be a shortcut then, for sure. There we go. Figured that guy out. Okay, so we're just back where we fell, so now we can actually go up the stairs. The correct way this time. Whoa, hold up. It's been a while since I worked like that. I got eight, you know? And I wouldn't want to cramp your style. I'll take a breather here, then catch up later. Whatever. It's a trap. That's fine. That's fine. To cramp my style. See how fashionable I look? Got enough style for the both of us. Both. <laughs> mm. Enough style for the both of us. There we go. Words are hard this morning. news 
responsibility. This just in. The intruder turned out to be Geppetto Pugnick. This month's protection fee will be waived for anyone who hunts it down. What a deal! Now I'm here. Run, you idiot! <laughs> things up top throwing shit. How do I get up to you? Are I like, gonna have to dodge stuff while I do this? That's fine. So I'm hoping there's a way to, yeah, there we go. Cause I don't want to fight him while I'm doing all this other crap. Oh, rude, little rude. about this methodically. It's not my most methodical way of thinking, but almost. At least I'm safe up here. Cutting saw blade. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> yep. That's Because that scared me a little. That was fun. Now I realize we had to deal with bear traps in this area. I honestly probably have enough throwables to where I can just throw stuff at this guy, which is what I think the plan is going to be.
Although I don't think you can stagger enemies by just throwing crap at them. I could be wrong. Rather be smart. Rather be smart and methodical. How do we get over there? We can go back down. How did I not see you before? A great feature I love about Liza P is the fact that you can restore at least when you're down one restore a flask to me that is such a smart idea it makes so much sense to allow that it's a great feature in the game So how in the heckin' do I get there? Do I have to climb up that way? So it's definitely on that side you jump over, okay. Let's see what this way has. You think it's a trap? I think it's a trap. 100%. Was gonna be something jumping down, not someone the other way. So if we are getting near a heal spot or a stargazer soon. Otherwise, this is gonna be a little painful. Close. It's going to be close. Oh, telephone. There we go. That's horrible. I hope my return isn't too unexpected. It seems that our fates may be interconnected. Now, do pay attention. You won't want to miss when the king of all riddles says, Riddle, riddle me. Definitely I can't. That's right. Did you cheat? Are you cheating? Better not be cheating. You are irritatingly good at this. Or am I? Oh, impossible. I am the king of riddles, and you are just, well, you. <laughs> no offense. You're either very lucky, improbably bright, or more likely, you're cheating. But I would never level such an 
accusation in a culture where dueling is still an acceptable method of solving disputes. I'm the king of riddles, not the king of swordplay. You know, I wonder, perhaps it's your connection to Candle. <gasps> because the answer is, right? Uh, you get it, but you're not feeling violent. Huh, even better. It's as good a time as any to grant you this boon. Now, take your new key and say, give me some room. Hey, Tommy Guns, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome into the chat. How you doing? But don't go too far. All right, another Trinity key. That means we should be able to go back to the previous area. If I can actually remember where that is. We'll actually try to do that maybe next uh, Stargazer. Go back to that other Trinity area. And hopefully there is a Stargazer soon. Because I am in need of one. All right, so this is what takes us actually to right here. So we can actually do this shenanigans. Okay. It's going good, can't complain. Started not too long ago, putting in some stream before I have to go to work. So, <laughs> almost the opposite. I tried doing the streaming after work and for me, it's just not for me. I, if I do it before work, it's just a lot more productive. That's awesome, what are you gonna stream today? Also streaming before work, works with the wife. She likes to sleep. <laughs> nice, Warzone, very nice. Hey, that's awesome. I tried a little bit of the Modern Warfare 3 beta. I know it's not Warzone. I know it's not Warzone, but I gotta say, I'm, at this point, I am not impressed with the Modern Warfare 3 beta. Take with that what you will. I know it's still in beta, but I do love Warzone more. It just feels, I don't know. I just like the battle royale aspect more than the multiplayer. Hmm. Well, thank you for coming into the chat. I hope Warzone's been treating you good recently. I would say, yeah, get it. I don't know what you have it on, but get it on to where you can pre-order it, but can cancel it if you don't like it. See if you like it. I mean, it doesn't feel bad. It just it feels more arcadey like it, it it almost feels like they took the mobile version which isn't a bad in and of itself and made it there granted there's only five maps but the thing i'm most interested in i don't think they're going to release for the beta which is zombies and that's really what i'm looking forward to But I love all the Halloween skins and events they're doing. And I love that at least with Modern Warfare 3, everything's carrying over, so. That's it, you just stop running. Gotta be careful, don't wanna die. And I dead. We'll get there. That's pretty good for getting that far and chatting. Give me a chance to reorient. I don't think all the enemies will be there because I think there was kind of like a mini boss. Hey, no worries. Thank you for showing in. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Have a good stream. And I appreciate it. Talk to you later. Let's go get our ergo back. Ergo. I realize it put us that far back. Jesus. It's a decent amount back. Hopefully it won't take too long to get back now, but we'll see. So that one is still there. That's fun. Can I just run past you? 
Will you actually follow me? Will you follow me through the door? Yep. You certainly will. That's fine. You angry. Please be done. Just please be done. We're gonna run past all these guys. I don't want to fight them again. As much fun as that is. Make sure no one follows me. Okay, great. I did unlock that shortcut. Oh well. Now I know. I remember. Back here? Oh yeah. You're gonna mess up this black rabbit brotherhood. BRB. What a dumb name. Are you a hidden area? Can't destroy boxes, I guess. Go figure. Mm Welcome in, Lord Rose. How you doing? What a jump! How's it going today? Yeah, before this stream happens, what are you going to stream today?
What is on the agenda? Wait, why are you not looking forward to it? I try to at least always have fun. I know I'd like it. I, I just need more context. Why are you not looking forward to the stream? Now we're in the lobster house. Warzone, oh gosh. Well, at least try to have fun with it. And I think ultimately it's like you got to remember that people come for you, not for the game per se. You look disgusting. Let's see if I can use some of my fable arts. Yeah, I'm not big on the shooters. I wouldn't say I'm good enough to stream them. I'm like average. Like, maybe like a 1KD. Like, for every kill, I'll die. But... As long as you're having fun, and as long as you're with friends, I think you can have a good time, so don't worry about it. You'll be good. My character, on the other hand, maybe not as much. We'll see. I am out of heals, so that's always a good time. Really upsets me I can't destroy the barrels like I can in other Souls games. <laughs> oh, so you're straight going with just Warzone. You're not even going like freaking the multiplayer. You're just going straight into the Battle Royale. You should do the Resurgence quads or the Resurgence mode. That way you at least spawn back and it's not like you die and then you wait. I think that'll be good. Hey, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Much appreciated. So thank you. For coming in but yeah lord rose i would say do the get your friend to do resurgence so you don't just die and that's it because that's no fun I actually get better at wars in that way too okay now that i unlock the shortcut perfect i'm actually gonna go back before i forget to get that other just trying to remember where exactly is the best place to go back to get it from. I think it's from here. Maybe? Yeah, there you go. That's all you need to do. Oh, you'll get in the swing of it. Oh, man. I remember playing Halo 2 multiplayer with my friends. Back in the day, local. The local four-player split screen. All of us on a couch together. Man. Those, those were great times. What a throwback, too. And the question is, are you forward or are you back here? That's what I don't remember. No, you're not this far. We're forward. Okay. You're new, right? Well, you're not new, but... Gold coin trees are said to blossom when plague stalks the land. P perhaps they've already bloomed yeah, somewhere right? in Krat. Did that with the Halo, did that with um did that with Super Smash Brothers back in the day. Oh man. Those were the days. I think we can go back this way to get it. This may not be the fastest point, but we'll see. <laughs> They're like why is this guy suddenly good? Or why is this guy suddenly acting not so good? Yeah, no, it's really funny. <laughs> Where in the heck? Where in the heck is this thing? It's one of those things, I hate areas where you're like, oh, you have to come back and you expect me to remember. You expect me to remember with the memory of a goldfish where this thing was. 
tea beans. Oh my gosh, tea beans. Welcome in. Welcome to the. Get ready for that one. Beautiful. A plus. A plus. Welcome in, T Beans. How are you doing today? Can I, can I not go through that door? I want to go through that door. That's the door of which I want to go through. Let me through the door. Oh my gosh, that music too. You have arrived. That should just be your intro, man. That should just be your intro. Fat T Beans, how are we all doing today? Welcome to the Thursday Puppet Club. If you get that reference to which book it is, I will be even more proud. Man, the Titanic one's pretty cool too. You're not gonna say do it, but if you wanna do it, it's pretty cool. It's pretty, uh, it's something all right. Oh my gosh, where was this thing? This is really bothering me. <laughs> it's beautiful. Interspersed with that? Mm. I'm really stumped as to where this thing was. It's really bothering me. Basically, I passed this point last time. You know, right? Is that... I, I would hope you're... St well... So, Fat, do your students, do you, do you teach music like theory? I feel so bad asking this. Do you teach them how to play instruments? I feel like I know you're a teacher, but I don't quite know what you do with your students. And I feel really bad about that, because I want to know. It doesn't seem like it would be the best to teach kids. I feel like there are lots of better methods. <laughs> okay, we're gonna work our way backwards till I find where the heck this because I got another key which unlocks a secret area in the game right and for the life of me I can't remember where to go with it so we're gonna work our way backwards this is where we not up here I'm just trying to remember how did we get there I'm like 90% certain it's in this area I could also be very wrong it's a terabad instrument I can teach guitar drums but Jesus Christ cheese and rice Wow, that's awesome. Who are you, man? I really don't want to Google where this stupid thing is, but I might. Just because I've already been there, I just don't want to have to refind it. Ugh. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Nothing can stop us now. It is in the relic. Just want the Sanctum location, St. Frangelico Cathedral Chapel, okay. So yeah, in the Cathedral Chapel, that's where we're at. Also, let me know if that is like way too loud for the in-game audio. Thank you for the lurk, I appreciate it. It's so awesome, you are so well-rounded, that's amazing. What is your favorite instrument? Or if you can't pick one, what are like your top three instruments? 
Think about the recorders, the kids cannot do it. You're trash at the recorder? I doubt it. You're probably better than the Titanic flute was. <laughs> Get an oboe and come back to me. <laughs> yes. I would love to see that. Well, yeah, what are, what are your favorite instruments? If you had to pick like, I don't know, let's say two to three. Two to three. triangle what about the cowbell oh, the cowbell I feel like if someone is talented enough they can take anything and make it at least sound decent you can totally correct me if I'm wrong Where is this location? Is it just back here? I love how the first time like going through an area, you're like, oh my gosh, this area, I better not rush through it. And whenever you have to go back and revisit, you're like, oh God, let's just get this over with. You bum rush it. So if you see giant balls rolling, we're in the right direction. And I wish I could say I was joking on that, but I'm not. Did they call bullshit that you actually saw me on that? Hey look, giant balls rolling. We're good. We're here. The only song I'm allowed to sing is Far Away. Far Away from Everyone. Hey, Tea Beans, if it makes you feel better, I'm actually, and I hate to say this fat, I'm tone deaf. Like, I appreciate the hell out of music, but I cannot carry a tune to save my life. It sucks, because I really love music, and I love to sing along, and my wife puts up with my horrible car singing, so I love her for that. Especially when we rock out. But luckily I can hear the beats of music with dancing. So that's that's my saving quality. I just opened it, man. Black Cat's Amulet and the Monster Sweeper's Hunting Apparel. Ooh, let's see what that looks like. The green. I like it. Not as much as I like that. Let's be honest. <laughs> We've got a new amulet. Puppet destroyers. What does the cat amulet do? Damage from falling. Well, I don't plan on falling a lot, so there you go. King of Carnage, welcome in. It's going good. <laughs> I'm trying to think what instrument I could bullshit my way into playing. I think the triangle was up there. I feel like I was given the triangle a lot. Actually, fun fact, that back in the day, and I still own the instrument, I just don't play it anymore. I used to take banjo lessons, believe it or not. And I still have the banjo. It's probably like meant for a little kid and horribly outdated, but I own it. It's all mine. I know, right? I love the banjo. I think the banjo is one of the most underrated instruments. So versatile. I feel like Mumford brought it back in the mainstream, but I don't know a lot of modern bands that still use the banjo. You can totally correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I'm not aware of too many. Because it's like, it's so different than, it's so different than like a guitar, right? The way you pick it is so different. So do you have all the calluses too on your hands, I'm assuming, from playing? 
Like those crazy people that play without guitar picks. It's another skill form in and of itself. I actually asked my wife this question the other day, like, if you could play one instrument, what would it be? She's like, I would love to learn the piano. I'm like, that's a great answer. I love the piano. I think the violin's so beautiful, too. Okay, we're gonna go upgrade our character, and then we're gonna go back to the main story. So, one thing about this game, I hate that you have to go back to Hotel Krat to upgrade your character, and you can't just do it at any Stargazer. Seems really, really dumb. But, I've also been playing a little bit of Lords of the Fallen, because I was like, oh, maybe that'd be a cool game for stream, and I'm like, oof. It's a fun game, don't get me wrong, Lords of the Fallen, but there are so many technical oh, bugs with it, I can't, I can't recommend it. The cutscenes have frame drops, and I'm like, ooh, that's weird. What's up, Puppet? Welcome to the Thursday Puppet Club. Should have called it the Thursday uh, Murder Puppet Club. That would have been better. Would have been more on the nose, though, with what the reference is to. We are about to premiere to entangle with the BRB, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. It's going to be fun. Also, I'm like already level 50. I'm like, what is end game level for this game? Is it like 100? Because I feel like I'm not even halfway through. I feel like anytime a kid is like, I want to be a drummer, it's the parent's worst nightmare. Like, no, how about any other instrument except drum? I thought there were no more survivors, but you, you're new. I do love a bit of commerce, but the bosses are really strict about who I'm allowed to sell to. I thought this was the are same guy throughout all of the them. Black Rabbit Brotherhood? I can't tell what's real and what's fake, to be honest. Ah, my job is selling stuff, not detecting forgeries. If it's fake, you'll be the one to get punished, not me. <laughs> Guess that works. Guess that's fair, right? Maybe? Seems a bit old. What do you got? What do you got? A Bramble Curve Sword Blade. That's pretty cool. I need to take some stuff before I can buy anything from you. I at least want to collect all the swords on this playthrough. Enjoy or weapons. Market collect. Oh, those are just throwables. Acid abrasive. Oh, I gotta buy the music too. I gotta do that. Hopefully I'll have enough to do that. The music in this game is actually fat pretty darn good if I say so myself. I have to kill a few things before I can buy it. We'll see. Oh, maybe not. Sweet. I think we just have enough for music. Work hard too, you know. Enjoy the black market collection. Okay, so we got here, and I don't think he had any other weapons. That's just throwables. Yeah. Okay. Now let's figure out where in the heckin' we need to go. So I unlocked a shortcut here. That was the previous area. And we unlocked through here. I love Avenged Sevenfold. I was so happy when they won, uh, won that Grammy. Or, yeah, right? No, hang on. Was it Album of the Year that they won? Back in the day.
Oh, Slipknot. Hmm. Take me back to high school. <laughs> Just fight you. I come from that side, so maybe I need to go up this way. Nope, I'm not important. You can leave me alone. I'm not important. We're good. We're chilling. Yeah, this is the way I came in. I had to go the other way. Oh my god. You stop it. You stop it. crap out of you with my umbrella. Wait and bleed is amazing. Loves corn, the offspring. Oh, yeah. Those are some great ones back in the day. I mean, I shouldn't say back in the day. It's not that long ago. And isn't the offspring still going? Didn't they, like, in the past five years release an album? the offspring the offspring helped me get through a lot of emotions back in the day especially one uh ex ex-girlfriend at the time who uh liked to mess around <laughs> uh and i forget what it what the song is called by the offspring oh it's called spare me the details by the offspring definitely helped helped me through some stuff but Oh, shout out to T Beans and then Fat, just so you're aware, we can also do the shout outs this way. If we do the shout outs this way, and then it shows a little bit of a preview of what they're doing. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. You gotta see the beautiful face. Well, this is where I came from. What the? Mm. Okay, hang on, chat. I came in this way, so I think the other way was the correct way. I might be a dirty liar. Because we unlocked the shortcut, so I think actually going back up this way is correct. So I'm just taking us in circles. <laughs> and yeah, Rated EM Gamers, welcome into the chat. Sorry I didn't see that. Thank you for coming in. My name is New Lead Traveler, for those of you that aren't aware. I like leading travelers on new adventures. And we are about Looking to, uh, encounter a criminal organization with Liza P. Hey, everything went smooth as silk. And you know me, I don't impress easy. Sure, but I gotta ask, you really gonna take on the Black Rabbit Brotherhood by yourself? Yes. In fact, we did it. I'm so happy. I think before you came, we hit 300 followers, so I'm so excited. What a milestone. Could not be happier. And sometimes we get blessed with a puppy present. Yes, sometimes we do. Sometimes we do. I would like to go back and heal, so I'm going to heal bum rush to this area and we'll go from here. Because the heal, I should be able just to juke everyone. Shouldn't be that bad. Thank you! I know, I'm excited. Uh, don't know exactly what I was expecting when I started all of this, but it's just been utterly amazing, all the support and everything, so. 
took me a while to find the rhythm of what I wanted to do, but I feel like I'm in a good swing now. So thank you all for being here. It means a lot. Let's enjoy a boss fight. Um, but do we want to do a bet on how many times this time T-Beans it's going to take for me to get there? So I've never played this game before, so everything you're seeing is happening live. I am going to be using uh, the summon spectral that changes your your uh, your voting. And last time I encountered a boss for the first time, it took me two tries. So anyone want to put bets on how long this one's going to take? I'm going to say you're saying two again. You know what? I'm still going to say one. I'm going to say one. I'll just be more strategic. Seven. Is this one hard? Jesus. Premier. Wow. No confidence. <laughs> Seven. 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 We'll see. I don't know. This one could be hard. My man. So I'm going for the vibe of like the Kingsman with Eggsy with the umbrella weapon. Manners maketh a man or a puppet, whatever you want. It took me seven times. Okay. They look like a interesting bit of, well, they just look interesting. Oh, is this from the trailer? I bet this is from the trailer and the pictures I've been seeing. I don't, I haven't had context for it, but Yep. Bring it on. You ain't seen nothing like my love. What? I would like to get rid of that guy first, but... There's so many of them. Little rude, little rude. So the trick is to definitely get rid of the little ones.
blah, 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 blah. So maybe two tries. <laughs> Throw your nose and poke them. That's the goal. Jeez, that was that was actually really fun. And I feel like that's super unique for a Souls game. Why were you right there? Okay. That was actually a lot of fun. That's a fun fight. I'm not gonna lie. Huh. Hey, what's the big idea leaving us behind? Oh, I knew we shouldn't trust them. Let's get out of here and get those lousy bums the business. Of course they're not going to help us. Why would they help us? Bring it on. You ain't seen nothing my mind up. If I can dodge around you and backstab, that would be great. They switch who they aggro. That's a frickin' Buster Blade move right there. It's my Jeez, that reach, though. Hmm. You suck. Take it. I need him to not aggro me so I can backstab him. That should have been a backstab. My god, that should have been a backstab. Nope. Yeah, no, the goal is to get rid of all the little guys. 
Now that I know I can backstab him, I think I got it this time. I think I got it this time. Not too worried about it now. LT Beans 2 was incorrect. 7 might be too many. We'll see. Could you imagine this fight without the help? Oh my gosh, that'd be so crazy. That'd be so crazy. And the goal is just to obviously like, pound him as much as possible. Now it's kind of cheesing it, but that's how you got to do it. That's how you got to do it. Yeah, bro. Come on, bro. that reach. Oh, 
Elf. Ouch. Okay, we're on attempt number four. So number four now. I mean, I feel like I know ways I could cheese it just by like buying a ton of throwables, but at the same time, I'm like, hmm, maybe. I don't know. We can try throwing some stiff. Maybe it'll hop a little bit. Blueberry, blueberry. Beautiful. I was like that kid, I just got smacked. It's closer each and each time. Of the corner. <laughs> Come on, you played nice with the others. Don't you want to play with me, Mr. Puppet? Not what I thought it would do. Get one more backstab on you, my dude. That'd be great. 
Oh, that was a waste. Oh, did not need that. It's been a while since no. I've six feet. No. Damn. It's always when you're so close. I don't think I can buy anything either. That was, that was a good faith effort. Tried. Uh, attempt number five. So Premier, you might be right. This might be might be seven. I hope not. I'm so close. I choked. Okay, here we go. This time. This time.
That was clutch. Absolutely fucked. Here we go. So I gotta get that out of my system. <laughs> Up at Murder Club. Hey yo. Well, thank you, Premier. Appreciate it. Damn you! That was a fun fight. Pay for that. It was actually a really fun fight. Heck yeah! Limited. When I beat him, apparently just avoid the end nuke him. I don't know. I just feel like if they're easy enough to backstab. That was, that was kind of my thinking. They were decent enough to backstab. I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep upgrading my carrying capacity because I want to use other amulets. It's kind of annoying me. I can't. I don't want to be overweight and chunky. I would like to have two weapons equipped at once, so. It's just my thought process. But now I'm out of all consumable or throwables, I, I should say. Power, that was fun. That was a really fun fight. And five the number shall be. It took five attempts. Premier, I tried Lords of the Fallen and I love the game. I don't think it's a streamable game though. I think it's just too, too laggy. The frame rates are atrocious. I don't know if you've tried it yet. I love it though. I love the concept of it. It's so beautiful, but just like compared to this game though, it's just not nearly as polished right now. That's not very nice for the Thursday Puppet Club. Don't purge puppets. Nice. Oh, I definitely can upgrade boards. I should probably do that, but I'll wait till off stream to upgrade. Could I go another way when I have gone up here? Or because there's just a little bit of rubble, I can't climb over this. Okay. Thanks, Lex of P. I cannot climb over it. Yeah, this game is like, I just feel like for being released, even the demo, even the demo was insanely polished. I know there's just so many places to go. We'll start with upstairs and then work our way in a circle. Anyone else do that in games? You're like, I don't know where to go, so I'm going to do a circle and start with the left and go clockwise. It's uh, generally what I do. And fun tip, that also works in mazes. Like if you're ever stuck in like a maze, just keep going left. You'll eventually get out. Check this out. Looks like you, sort of. From a certain angle. You know, if you squint. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, it, it looks exactly like you. I mean, you see it, right? With the nose and the... Right? It's good. I like the concept. The combat feels great. But I was watching, like, the first cutscene in it. 
and it frame rate dropped on the PlayStation 5 in performance mode. And I was just like, what? It's good. It's different. So it feels different than a typical Souls game, if that makes sense. It doesn't quite feel the same. But it's not a bad thing. So am I a puppet or am I like a RoboCop type situation here? That's what I don't know. to see you, Mr. Stalker. What's this guy from earlier? Hello. It's a relief to see you. I've always wondered I, in Souls game, the point. how did these people I move around? A gold coin tree. Who knew it was right beside us? Without getting attacked. But there's a problem. When I tried to, to, to pick the gold coin fruit, it, it resisted me. I, I couldn't even get close. It actually burned me. It's probably because I have the petrification disease. P -p Pathetic, yeah. So close yet so far. If you pick some gold coin fruit for me, I'll give you a reward. Okay. I, I heard the alchemists made a device capable of fully utilizing gold coin fruit. I, I ignored it. Assuming it was just a legend, you're all interact with the Saint Tess statue at the Grand Exhibition. Oh, the Grand Exhibition is that what's next? You might be able to use. I've heard that name once or twice. I might look urbane now, but I, I, I heard about a vendor who sells plant alchemy boosters. Interesting. Okay. Well, we shall go see what the tree is all about. to see the gold coin tree in a place like this. Interesting. You can just farm it after like nine minutes. That, OK, that's that's a little weird for a Souls game, being able to like farm and do this. So he wanted a gold coin fruit. Let's give it to him. Let's see what it gives us. Stalker, please. If you pick some gold coin fruit for me, I'll give you a reward. I did. Not I did. Hey, I so thought I did. Wait, what the? What in the heckin? What the heckin? Okay, I totally. Wait, I can do stuff here with that? Weird. Reset level. Interesting. Hmm. Huh. So that's like respec everything. Wow, that's weird. I don't know how I feel. Good to know you can respec in this game, though. Stalker, please. I am trying to give you the gold coin fruit. No, oh, it's just a currency exchange. That's what it is. Got it. Star fragments and wish stones. Cool. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Is it just a reset though? I can't like actually do anything. Okay, it's just resetting. Got it. Interesting.
And then nothing this way, I assume. Can't do anything. Okay. Up and since there's crates in front of that one, we obviously can't go that way. And you're just not a door. Okay, you look like a door, but you're not a door. That's yeah, fine. Hotel. Oh, shit, chocolate chip. We're back at the hotel. What? What? Look at that plot twist. Well, I guess we will upgrade our pea organ while we're here. Our porg. Let's upgrade our porg. It's a nifty little shortcut. And now I'm like, who do I need to speak with to advance the story forward? Hmm. I have three quarts. Wow, I've been slacking. Dodging while on the ground, that's pretty cool. I think having more pulse cells is always good. Oh, and that amulet one would be really great too. Actually, let's let's do the amulet. I would like another amulet slot. just so many options. Premier, how did you even get through all the options that you have to choose here? I guess so. We're doing a technique build, so... Be a good one, all status. On your third playthrough, feared, was it not? so you can eventually max out everything, but right? The Black Rabbit Brotherhood out of the picture, we can focus elsewhere. And why not strike at the root of the problem? The King of Puppets' lair is on Rosa Isabel Street. Perhaps the puppet frenzy will come to an end if we can take down their king. Go to Antonia and get the key to Rosa Isabel Street. I already let her know you'll be coming by. I always remember these favors you've done for me. Though it pains me to send someone so precious into such peril. The murdering machine, come on. We're good, I got this. And just stab him. Stick him with the pointy end of my umbrella. Sweet, but now that we actually have another amulet, that'll be sick. 
So I have the Puppet Destroyer and the Carrier's Amulet. Ooh, I do like that. That'd be good. Weapon Dur- Oh, that'd be good too. But the Life Amulet, more health, is always good. Although, I don't know if it's worth it just for that little bit of extra health. Deuce's Weapon Durability. Like stamina, I am a technique build, so there's that. Hurry up. I heard from Geppetto. Rosa Isabel Street is ever so dangerous, I'm told. I hoped we wouldn't have to unlock the passage there. But if we want to stop this disaster once and for all, I fear we've no choice. Geppetto and I care about you very much, you know. Stay safe. For both of us. I feel like my time is... slowly coming to an end. However, it's morbid. It's a nice feeling to know that someone waits for you. That someone cares. Please take care out there. Just don't want to be chunky so as long as my character is not labeled as chunky we are good sweet so i'm currently rocking the umbrella premiere and then the other weapon that i'm rocking don't know why i did that i'm gonna go back to that is the uh i took the salamander dagger dagger blade and put it on the what is it called the booster glaive handle I think it's a, it's a fun combo to have like a spear type weapon. Well, does your, and, and going back to your last comment, Premier, so you're level 75, right? But does like it carry over, like your level carry over into the next one? Or do you start from the beginning? It'd be quite silly, I feel like. Or I just feel like, no, wait, it does carry over or it does not? Okay, good, I was gonna say. So it must just get insanely grindy to level up towards the end. Mix it up. We'll try the other weapon going forward. We'll do more of my spear. I mean, it's like any Souls game, right? You almost reach a point where you're like, I don't need to level up anymore to play the game, but otherwise, if you just keep doing it, it becomes way too easy. We'll rock the spear for this part. I like the spear a lot. It's a different combat style. Rosa Isabel Street, the entertainment district. You might call it extravagant. Operas, operettas, street concerts, all running 24-7. Adelina Corday, the singer in the red dress. Oh, she was the most famous of them all. The legendary prima donna. Mm, well, I'm not sure if she's still alive, so... While the past tense makes sense, it's... Yeah, it's getting a little depressing. I look like there was a path back here. I assume I can't go that way. I can break some boxes, just not all boxes. Yep. Wow. Okay then. Guess we're not going that way.
sick guy. I'm sure we can interact with him. Oh, who are you? Oh, my stalker friend. I was worried the puppets had come back. They're demons. They won't give us a moment's peace. Even an elderly lady like me. They wouldn't even let the dead rest if they had the petrification disease. Drives a lady to drink, it does. Which reminds me, I could use a proper tipple. There's a, there's a wine Tipple? I've never heard it Lemuy. called a tipple. When I was younger, they called it the ruby of the heavens. Ooh, I'm Lemuy? sure there's still some left in the wine cellar at Lawrence. What time? I wonder what, uh, wonder what type of red that'd be. Enterprising lad. Probably a red blend. And I'll give you something nice in return. Heck yeah. Dude, I'll go get you wine. Absolutely. And this atrocity of a landscape? Yeah. You deserve a drink. Let's do it. Let's go find it. Gotta wait till we're at the arcade. I hear you singing, lady. Where are you? Trying to work on my parry still. There we go. Something else up here? Every time. I hate it every time, even though I know it's going to shock me. I was totally expecting to fall down during that. Did not know you had one more. That was my bad. I thought I ended you. So definitely for the indoor combat, I prefer this weapon. Just cuz. Gosh darn it, shocking. Um. I don't like to swing and hit a wall. What the fuck are you? You're gonna explode, aren't you? Yep. Yep. Are you also going to explode? Silly puppets. Look at all those puppets. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. You're really trying to get me. Well, that looks like oodles of fun. And we will get to you. Be suspicious don't be suspicious but the box is in the way so that's a that's a thing
Nope. Nope. Whatever that is, it is. That. Nope. Nope. What the? Cool. They're like little baby creeps. Jordan Peele. Nope. Oh, look, and I'm back where I started. Would you look at that? How the turntables. Okay. Oh, that was a nice little creepy house that I did not need. Sir, uh-uh, no, bad robot, puppet, whatever. <laughs> Try to aggro you one at a time. Jesus, everyone, calm down, calm down. All right, the rifle guy has to go next. But can anyone aggro from here? We got two at, jeez, that's a lot. Can I go around? Yeah, it looks like I can sneak around him, actually. That's what we're gonna do. Forces you to drop down. No, no. You know, maybe we can bum rush these other guys real quick. I'm trying to think of strategy here. What's the strat? To not die. But that just seems like a massive trap. Hey, Nito, how's it going?
I know. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Even if it is for five to ten minutes. I absolutely love it. So thank you so much. How is the achievement hunting going on Resident Evil 7, by the way? I see that you cleaned up two. I see that you cleaned up two and now you're on to seven. Terrible. I gotta ask though, what is your favorite Resident Evil of all time? If you had to pick one. That shenanigans. Shenanigans. Well, I'm ready to go to this forced interaction now. Hey, got shit to throw. Resident Evil 2 is your favorite? Surprisingly, that is the one I have not played. So I need to need to get on that. I love Resident Evil 4, but I also realized that's the first one I really played. So I have major nostalgia lenses with that. I played it back in the day for the Wii, which was so much fun. I loved actually having to like slash with the Wii. It was so much fun. Uh, so before I interact with that puppet, I just want to explore a little bit more because that's definitely going to be a trigger. Let's do it. That's kind of creepy. Maybe this way? No. Oh, gotta investigate it from the front. What a beautiful puppet you are. I mean, I like Resident Evil 7, but some of the some of the mini games are so grindy. Would you like to sing for me like your friends? I have a feeling the sound of your cries will be especially sweet. Let's have an encore performance of pain for the red actress Adelina Corday. I dedicate this performance to my sister, Adelina! Oh. Hey, I'm not mad at you. We're, we're fine. We're ch What happened? The puppet kept- She is fast. Holy shit. You stole my sister from me, rotten puppets! That parry is so good. Can we 
we just stop fighting? You want to keep doing this? I mean, we can keep doing this. I just, I'd rather not. God, the song ended. It's annoying. I apologize. Sight. Lost line of sight on that. Let's see if I actually do it. Damn. And go back for her. We'll beat her, and then that'll be. For having one health or one heal, wasn't too bad. Can I just bum rush her though? I really don't want to fight all these other things again. He's close. Guess who forgot about those guys? This guy. One more? I think there's one more. Yep. But yeah, no, that's that that is what I do too. That is what I try to do. I'm just hoping if I run to the area that I'm not gonna aggro anyone. Like I hope this guy doesn't follow me. He might follow me. Hey! the whole time lady let's go Getting dizzy at this point. Scream the requiem for me if you would.
Ooh, first time with the undodgeable one. And the most unnecessary boss fight. There you go. Oh, and then that door opened. Okay. All right, well. Anyways, travelers, thank you so much for joining me. I think I'm going to call it there for today. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Newly Traveler. I like leading travelers on new adventures. So thank you so much for joining me on this one. <laughs> Rage. And let's go ahead and let's go find someone to raid out to to show the love real quick. There's a stargazer nearby. All right, let's hit up the stargazer then. And we can land right out. But Premia, Nito, do you have anyone that we can raid out to? I've done RP James a lot, so if we can spread the love, that would be really cool. But just let me know if there's someone that you would like me to raid out to. I feel like you guys kind of know the vibe of my channel, so... Oh, is it that one up there? No, oh, I see the item that's so dumb, but I can't get it. So dumb. This will be a perfect place to end. RP James and Pickle? All right, let's see. Let's check it out. Let's see. Like a dragon in Shen, Diablo 4. Ooh, I don't know. But never been in her streams. Mm, that's tricky, right? I think Ravage. Yeah, we could do Ravage TV. He's playing Diablo 4. Yeah, let's do Ravage TV. Anyways, go show some love to Ravage TV. We will be back at it tomorrow for Final Fantasy Fridays, starting at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with our boy Cloud Strife and the Final Fantasy 7 Remake. All right, let's go show Ravage TV some love. Thank you guys, love you, and until next time, safe travels everyone.